right folks so I got the blueberry wine here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through this Bone Vino Mini Jet wine filter now I'm going to put the link for where you can get that wine filter at the bottom of this video alright but I'm going to be filtering a bunch of different wines I'm going to be filtering this blueberry a uh, Nebbiolo and um, a bunch of different wines that I'm doing so basically what I just did is I ran the uh, wine through I'm sorry I ran water through the filters after soaking it and I have it all set up I have a bucket on the bottom to receive the wine and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the wine by putting it in putting the uh, intake tube in the top of the uh, carboy so I'm going to first remove this see they're pretty tight and I'm going to take my You can see the wine is going to start to come through the filter. So if I could get a closer shot there. and it's going into that bucket at the bottom alright so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to filter this wine, the blueberry wine and the Nebbiolo wine exactly the same way alright and we'll be back when all of that's done alright so the blueberry is done I'm going to uh, switch over to the Nebbiolo. Alright kitties, check it out. It's my new Ferrari bottle filter. I finally figured it out how it works. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, Rich Weaver, we were talking about this thing. And uh, basically the way it works is you push it down and it fills up the bottle to the right height. and it stops when it gets to the right height okay see it just stopped but here's the key you have to undo the clips before you remove it if you don't do that you'll get wine all over the place all right so basically I'm going to be taking that put it into the next bottle push it down all the way push it down and that's going to fill up the bottle so that's a blueberry wine filling up which I think is really cool the way that works okay and then once you have that full you grab your wine bottle there's a wine bottle see can you see I don't know. Wine bottle. Put it in my corker. There's a cork inside. You pull this down. Bam! You got yourself a bottle that's corked. Alright, so I'm going to redo all of those and we'll be back in a minute. Alright, guys, so I ended up here with about 25 and a half bottles Here's my half bottle over there And I'm going to be enjoying that tonight Hopefully and uh, you know, that's it. This blueberry wine came out really good and uh, It's gonna need to age a little bit. I'm gonna Let the bottle stay upright for about a week and then I'm gonna put them on their side and That's it. Um, probably let them age at least another six months uh, Before um, They'll start to uh, improve and take it from there. But you know what? That Ferrari bottle filler 
friggin' awesome. And let me tell you something. My friend Rich Weaver has a place called uh, Dr. Fermento's. Uh, he's a homebrew shop. And Rich told me how to use that, that uh, device because, you know, I was using it. And the first time I used it, the directions don't really tell you. I, you have to unclip the little thing. And uh, the wine was going all over the place, so I thought either it was defective or I was using it wrong or something. And uh, Rich said, hey, I know what you did. You forgot to, uh, or you didn't unclip it before taking it out. He said he did the same thing when he first used it. And, you know, that really helped me out. So shout out to him, Rich Rock. And uh, that's it. There's blueberry wine. And I'm going to then move on to my next wine that I'm going to be bottling today, which is going to be the Nebbiolo. Alright, take care. Alright everybody, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube. And um, definitely check out my blogs, www.cookingitalianrecipes.com with the dashes in the middle. Or um, my other one on winemaking, how to make homemade wine.biz. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and have an awesome day.